Hey, Keep Squad. Hey, Keep Squad. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Alduin. And I'm Al. Guys, you know we talk about all different types of self-defense, whether it's self-defense of your skin from the sun, dealing with collagen and things like that, with my wife doing her great videos on that side. I've been getting into the physical aspect of things. You know, we covered spiritual fitness and self-defense on this channel for a while. Alternative spiritual fitness and self-defense, guys. We've talked about dealing with conjurers and all kinds of things that you just don't see every day on every channel. But today we want to talk about something that I, that is more on the tangible side. We want to talk about financial and fiscal responsibility. We realize that there are things that we don't really share too much with you because we feel like it might be a bit of a stretch for you to understand until it happens. Can't really keep this back anymore. We um, can't, we can't. We need to be responsible content creators and give you guys a taste of reality right now. Not really pushing aside spirituality, but knowing the real world. Guys, well, I mean, without further ado, we're just gonna come right out and say it. Some of you guys have been feeling this. Many of you should be feeling the heat of this, but guys, we're going into what feels like a depression, right? Mm -hmm. We're already in what you would call a actual recession, right? Mm -hmm. um, so this is something that we decided to share with you guys. We like we wanted we wanted to explain it to you. We wanted to talk about the aspects of it and the actual effects of it. So we're gonna take some time and we're gonna walk with you guys and we're gonna explain how to kind of insulate yourself from some of these situations. The economy goes up and down. That's just the natural aspect of it. It's supposed to go up and down. We're supposed to have peaks and valleys. If you guys are in the stock market, you understand. You're not always going to have an economic boom. There's always going to be things that go up, go up and down. In fact, there's been 34 different recessions since 1857 uh, when they were recording these things. It's normal. What they've been doing with the economy and trying to artificially prop it up has caused a situation where it pushes you more toward a recession and, un and unfortunately pushes you toward a great depression you might be saying well what what is he talking about like how what do you mean a great depression what do you mean a recession well you know all that stimulus money that, that was given out by trump you know all the stimulus money that was given out during the biden administration that money was meant to keep the families afloat right during that time you're supposed to take that money and you're supposed to invest it right this is a situation where you're supposed to put it into things that would keep you safer, right? People say when things are good, store the money away. Don't go spending it. We saw lines at Gucci. We saw lines in car dealerships. Talking about like car lines, not like real, like human lines, like car lines. I know you guys saw the cars. Like, I, I know you guys saw the cars. All the new tags with the COVIDian money uh, at that time, that wasn't for you to spend in that way. Mm -hmm. That was for you to put into investments. Uh, to protect you. So I'm going to go into some of the doom and gloom parts of this. And we've been telling people this too, you know what I mean? If you get granted like what he said from the government from that money, do something with it. We've been telling you guys about that. The, there was an economic downturn during the 2008 that devastated people. Like families lost money, 401ks were ran through in order to save their homes. And most people just aren't prepared for it. 28% of Americans can't even cover six months of expenses. Mm -mm. Right now, we're in a situation where there's been so many homes that people are risking losing. There has been a situation where people have lost their jobs. Right. Big companies are laying people off. It's preparing to lay off at least 13 percent of its global workforce. And the publisher of the iconic Sports Illustrated magazine saying that most of its staff will be let go. The union calling it a very difficult day for its members. Units affected. They also include hardware, engineering, ad sales. So far, last night, CEO Sundar Pichai told his workforce to expect more cuts. An Amazon spokesperson did confirm those layoffs. The head of Prime and Prime Video and MGM saying in that memo that the company is making some of the cuts to prioritize investments for the long term. You know, Facebook has been laying people off and when they lay people off, they lay people off by the thousands. This is the kind of time when you need to have money saved up to be able to insulate yourself from that situation. Mm -hmm. um, dealing with your high interest debt. Remember, we just talked about having those cars. Uh, credit cards are at a huge time now where people are just grabbing these interest rates. I remember we were literally in the mall yesterday and there was a young guy who was talking about APR being high on credit cards. You're going to be seeing a minimum of 30, 32, 33, 34% on these things. And do you really need it? Do you really need those credit cards? Do you really need to go to those stores and commit to capitalism? <laughs> 
And then on top of that, people are refinancing like crazy guys. Most of these refinancing numbers where people are refinancing their home mortgages and pulling money out of their home mortgages like it's, like it's, like it's a literal piggy bank. Now, why that may feel good because you're getting endorphins, why that may feel good because you feel like you can pay down other things, that is going to catch up with you eventually because you're going to be paying higher mortgages, especially as things get worse, especially as land taxes increase, especially if you start to have things that break on your home because you haven't saved up the funds to protect the home. A lot of people are having issues who are retiring right now because they've been relying on their social security checks. Now, mm -hmm. if you've been following the 2024 race, um, you know, one of the parties is basically saying, hey, they're going to cut uh, social security. They're going to cut social, social security. Now, whether or not you believe that to be the case, there's a situation where that could very, very well happen. If you're someone who knows someone that is surviving off of that, that's a, that's a situation where you need to figure out what to do uh, should that happen. You know, people, if you're lucky enough to have your pension, those things are going to be targeted. We're seeing costs that go up to 32%. Like people are literally seeing their costs that they lived on, even prior to the pandemic, go up 32%. What's the cost of a Big Mac right now? What's the cost of a Big Mac meal? These are things that when you're seeing it, it's like food shock. Um, all the prices. $17 for three filet of fishes at McDonald's? Are you kidding me? After two years of menu price hikes, big companies finally feeling the pushback from diners. Sting at the pocket is extending all across the entire market. Now that we know the risks, let's talk about protecting our assets, which is building an emergency fund. And let's forget about those days when they say save up two months rent, save up for emergencies for a rainy day. That all changed, guys. That definitely changed. You need to save up six months of income. Six months of that income can definitely help out in, let's say, a mortgage, a car payment, insurance, kids insurance, pet insurance. But not only that, too, we left COVID and there was a lot of deaths and funerals are expensive. I lost a lot of people in COVID. It's expensive. The average funeral is what? 8130 to 11750 However, that's not the whole story. To about $2,200. So it's not exact math, but give or take, depending on which of these items that you need. You add that to the first, to the first number, and that's what gives you a really accurate number. The funerals that I paid for, that me and Alvin paid for for our family, put us in financial ruins for that one account. Right? Right, Alvin? Indeed, indeed. Our savings account was plummeted, plummeted in those three years of COVIDian times. And we only had four months of savings in there, right? Four months of savings too. So you really need that six months of financial stability. We talked about inflation. Plumbers are expensive. Roofing is expensive. Exterminators are expensive. Construction is expensive. Healthcare is expensive. Do you have the proper means to protect yourselves? Really think and really understand your life. Because a lot of you sphere keepers don't understand the real world. A lot of you virtual people too do not understand the real world. And I'm talking to you, Meta. I'm talking to you too, Second Life. You guys don't understand what the real world is. I love those places, but you guys don't understand. Even your closest friends and family have their own debts to pay off. Sorry. Sorry to, to your parents. I'm so sorry to your aunties and uncles and sisters and brothers who have family and who are, or he, who even are single. The debt is crazy that they're paying off. Once you consolidate your debt, you'll find out that you will have more time for yourself. You have more to offer the world because now you have the stability to help in an unfortunate person or even help you out. Because let's face it, maybe you get your debt taken care of. I would say, guys, try to find ways that you can help support your families, right? Think about multiple sources of income, right? If you're there and you only have one or two incomes, you can double and triple that by looking for ways of making more money. Affiliate programs. If you're someone who is who is of the age who can jump out there and do Uber, you can jump out there and do Lyft and things like that. Now, they aren't the best multiple streams of income, 
but it is something that you can use to support the families that you're living under the roof of. If you guys really are down on your luck for your first job, or don't even have a job for that matter, I suggest you guys finding one. And I know that it's very, very hard to find it, especially in this recession. And the job force is really wooky right now. And wonky, wooky, I don't know what else to say, but uh, you guys might be applying for thousands of jobs, sending thousands of applications, right? And not getting it. The workplace may be lying to us. And this is what the Keeps has been saying. And this is what financial forecasters have been saying for this year. When they applied for a job, they applied for thousands before they got that one minimum wage job. It is, it, it's literally affecting the minimum wage jobs and lower income people as well. Diversifying your income too, if you do have a full-time job or even a part-time job, Try getting a second job. Try applying for that. Most likely you'll get that second job because you already have credibility with keeping your first job, right? Also, <laughs> having a part-time gig, a gig, or having a part-time hobby that pays well, that is less effort for you, could be good as well. $300 to $400 can definitely help out. I'm not saying go apply for Uber and submit an application for ride share and everything like that. Be a little bit more creative. We're all here about paranormal self-defense and physical self-defense and now financial self-defense. If you guys want to boss up and make good money too while driving a car for Uber or for any ride share, think about being armed in the states that do have those legalities for you to actually have those and have a higher for higher license plate that could definitely get you more for your money because or gaining your income like be creative with it don't be conventional you know what i mean like if you're a conventional person you're not going to get anywhere in life because it's oversaturated already Start opening a food truck, make some meals, make some plates for Instagram or social media. If you're a good cook, sell these plates for 20 bucks. You know what I mean? If you are sitting on a nest egg of about 100K or more, mm -hmm. don't just let that money sit inside an account with low interest, right? Um, if you put that money inside an account that can accrue a substantial amount of interest, you could be making $5,000 a year on that 100K. Mm -hmm. That, guys, that, listen, that is literally. Uh, that is a literal another stream of income if you're fortunate enough to have that sitting inside of, inside of an account. The money is working for you. That can be a, a second or third or fourth stream of income. Again, we were saying get these extra stream of, stream, stream of incomes because you're likely going to lose a job. In the Great Depression, people lose their jobs. Like literally almost everybody will lose something. If that bank account is sitting there earning you interest, again, that is pouring money back into your pocket every month. A lot of people who view us too are or, or older people and you guys are already in the retirement era and you guys are already retired as, as I'm speaking right now. And you guys are a little bit confused about where your money goes and, and things. Well, first of all, investments. To all my older viewers, our older viewers and our fans, how about being selfish? Being selfish with your money. Don't give it to your son. Don't give it to your son if you know that he has situations and stipulations that prevents him from paying you back or, or, or your daughter or your niece, your nephew, whoever it may be. Stop it. Just stop it with retirees, all right? And for you children who have, who have um, parents who are retired and you're asking them for their retirement money without giving good stipulations, a contract or a promise and not committing to that promise, shame on you. You're making your life worse and you're going to be in more financial ruin. You had passed that along to the people who raised you, who loved you. And if it's not that, you have now impacted another person. It's going to affect your karma. We talked about that a lot. It's going to affect your social, your social environment, and it's definitely going to affect your trust and loyalty the next time you talk to a, a friend or an older person or even the bank. You need to really stop giving away money, retirees. Stop giving away money. You don't need to be a superhero. 
And if you do give money, make it a good reason enough where you know their personality and you know where they live, who is in the family. You know what I mean? We got to close ranks, guys. We got to close ranks retirees. I love you guys. But the gen young generations need to understand that the dollar may fall eventually. We're talking about bricks. We're talking about American's currency deflating. So what do we do? What's the solution for that? Investing in gold, silver, or precious metals. No cars, no Bitcoin. Invest in these metals. If you guys are doomsday proper like us, or a little bit paranoid with the world, precious metals, gold, silver, diamonds, rubies, amber, could be used as a bartering system. There's a lot of gold and colloidal silver in the medical field. Um, we use components of metal and semi-precious metals too for technology. Let's say if there is an EMP, we need a good conductor. What is a good conductor, everyone? Gold. Gold. Guys, actually, if you have high interest loans that you are just sitting on top of, look at a high interest loan like you're bleeding money, right? Think about it like a scab. But the scab isn't healed because the wound because the wound's not closed by you paying that loan off. Once you get that letter saying you've been free of that debt, the wound is closed off and the scab is gone. Guys, you have to pay those those high interest loans down because the longer they're there, the more money you're gonna bleed, meaning that meaning the overall amount that you owe to that company is gonna just rise and rise and rise. But the folks watching this video who has successfully paid off car loans you know that feeling you know that feeling of saying oh my gosh i'm free unfortunately some of you guys go hey can i trade this car up to the next one no 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 this is not the time to go get credit cards this is not the time to go get more cars this isn't even the time to buy a house guys even though the interest rates for for homes are going to go a bit lower this is not the time to buy because what happens is in, the, in these situations based off of the sources that we've been um getting our reporting from people buy these homes they lose them so my precious metals yeah i can lose them it can get stolen but having that peace of mind of storing those semi-precious metals in different places could be your insurance policy as well sometimes you guys are refinancing because you guys cannot adapt to change you guys aren't telling your kids to go work. You guys aren't telling, you guys aren't doing enough. Ordering fast food on Uber and, and the delivery, all that stuff has got almost 40% more expensive. Uh, I kid you not, look at your receipts. If, if you find some of your old receipts or if you're able to dig through your bank account, I'm kidding, I'm kidding you not, look at your bank account. Look at your bank account if you have records that go back two, three, four, five years like most good banks have. Mm. Look at the prices that, that you pay per year. You can check your, the entire amount of money that went to Uber, the entire amount of money that went to Domino's and so on. You can see that, that you're paying almost 40% more for the same food. You can't afford that nowadays, guys. You can't. I know. I know. You. I know. It feels like you can because you're getting those endorphins. You're eating. The children are still eating. That's money that could have been going towards savings. What about if you get let go? Not only do you have three months of unemployment, you got six months in your pocket too, for your own collateral, not the banks. That's your money. That's money that could be saved and invested in. That's money that could be. Um, invested in semi-precious gold or precious gold, you know, precious metals. There's a lot of pros to fixing your life. I really think that we need to put our priorities first. That priority is you. Your path comes in a distant third. You, a partner or family, and then it's your path. I'm sorry, guys. Even to the crystal people that watch our channel, you don't have time. There's no more time. There's no more time. The church is not gonna grant you a wish for you to pay off your home. They're not going to grant you a check. They're not going to help out as much as you thought they would. Your faith is a distant third. The first person that needs to be taken care of is you. Then it's your family. Our older people too, you know, the ones that are, you know, retired. Like I keep, I keep on mentioning guys because I know you guys are, are terrified. I know that you guys are having family coming on, knocking on the door because you're living your privilege which is retirement. And I'm getting emotional right now because my parents are in that age. Our parents are in that age where other family members are asking them for money. Even us, they're coming to us too. If they can't get to us, they, they go to my parents. They go to his parents. To see the stress in y'all's voices really breaks my heart, really does. It's you. This is your retirement. This is your vacation. You deserve this before all of it's gone. You guys deserve this. That's all I have to say about this. Alvin said it eloquently. 
describing what's happening in the world, and I gave you guys the solutions. Y'all gotta change. There's gonna be a, be a number of affiliate links down below for you to get into precious metals, for you to get into certain areas. Do we get a kickback? Of course we do, because we've decided to partner with these guys because we like the message and we like the mechanisms that they're putting out there. Use our links, you can Google, but definitely wanna get into insulating yourself from what's coming because the pressure is already here. We're already in the boiler. Technically, we're already in the frying pan. That 30% crush that we're all feeling, that means that you can feel it on your heels. No matter what state you live in, mm -hmm. you're feeling it, guys. Let's stop buying fast fashion, stop buying designer gear. Like, do they really need it? No, you guys don't really need it. What you see in social media is just all smoke and mirrors because they need to pay bills too. Even for us too, you guys are looking at us too, and this might piss off everyone who thinks that we are privileged. A year. Had to save up for this for a year. I had to save up for the camera for a year. I had to, we had to say, he surprised me for this. And it was savings. We got to give this to you guys. We got, we got to enlighten you guys, share and teach you guys how to be a little bit more conscious in the real world.